Hello my friends, today we are back on Luminar Neo and we are making black and white images. I will start with this image of my daughter that I took last year. And to make a photo black and white on Luminar Neo, you have to go to the black and white tab over here on the right and convert to black and white. Now you can leave it like this or you can further manipulate it. Let's see. I would like to increase the reds and the yellows because those are the skin tones and I want to make her, you see if I move that to the left and right, there's a lot of yellow into the foliage, but also her skin tone. So I'm going to brighten the skin tone. Same thing with the red, a lot of it is on the skin. So I'm going to brighten just until the skin tones look right to me. Then I know I have a lot of greens into the foliage so I can darken that just to create some contrast so she pops out of the picture. I don't have much cyan, very little there, a couple of trees and the blue seems to affect her eyes and her sweater more. I'll just leave it kind of like, maybe like that. And magenta, I don't really have much magenta, it just shows a little bit under her eye, her highlighted spot. I'm going to leave it kind of where it was. Now once you manipulate all these colors into your black and white, then you of course can still go into your develop and work with your contrast. Let's add a little bit of contrast. Exposure if you need, I'm not going to change the exposure. Um, whites, blacks, white, highlights, shadows, etc. For this image, I am going to turn down the exposure actually a little bit. And I just want to darken this part behind her. So I'm going to take the paint mask and I'm just going to paint this effect behind her to darken it up a little bit. So let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. This part on the right over here looks a little bit too bright for me and I feel like it's distracting. My eyes keeps wants to go over here instead of her face. So I want to darken that a little bit as well. I'm going to close the develop, open it again. And this time I'm going to drop the highlights and take down the exposure a little bit. And then with a brush, I am just going to paint this effect into these bright areas. And let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. All right, let's move into, oh, I can actually, let's see, maybe a little bit of enhance. That kind of balances things out a little bit. All right, let's move into a different example. Let's do this little flower. I believe it was my pear tree flowers. I photographed last spring. I will go to edits, black and white, convert to black and white. Now I know I have a lot of greens in the background, so I want to make those darker to so make the flowers pop. And I know I have some yellows. Those are brightening the... I don't want to blow them out, so I don't want to increase them too much. Just a little bit. And I also remember that the center of this, if you look at the flower, there is some magenta and red. So if I darken that, it just creates more contrast. And that's probably all I would do for this image. Let's move into a different example. There is this beautiful B photo I took last summer and there's not a lot of colors here we have this like green cyan uh, syrup that I put over here and then we have the B is pretty much just yellow and black convert to black and white I will increase the yellow to make the B stands out I'm gonna decrease a little bit of the cyan greens maybe the blues I can go back into develop, maybe take the blacks down a little bit to give them more contrast. And maybe whites a little bit more without blowing them up. That's what I would do for this one. This is very high contrast black and white. Let's take a different example. I'll take this one. This is a Bihai Temple near Chicago. I photograph. I used to live just a half a mile away from this. So I had a lot of pictures of it. And for this one, we'll go back to black and white. And here is, I'm sorry, my dogs are playing in the background, wrestling. Um, here, I want to, there was a very dramatic sky when I took this photo. And I want to bring that back out. And there's a lot of blue in the sky. So just by dragging the blue down, you see all that? We can bring a lot of that sky back. Makes it very dramatic. And from here, of course, you can, the reds will affect the flowers. You see that, the rows of flowers. The yellows, there's a lot of yellows in the trees. 
always remember the grass and trees and stuff even though they look green there's a lot of yellow on them so just edit that to your pleasing the cyan there is a lot in the sky i'll bring that down just to make it dramatic we can work with an enhance a little bit and that's pretty much how i would edit this image and this is pretty much all about creating black and white images in luminar neon i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i will see you in my next video